Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out a car which strangely I've never really experienced before and that is the Audi TTS. Now this car has been tuned, it looks absolutely awesome. There's a, a long list of stuff which has been done to this. I spy a Remus exhaust and an awesome carbon aero kit which I'm very, very excited to go out and experience. Like I said, I've never experienced a TTS. In fact, I've never actually experienced any fast TT before as far as I'm aware. No, I don't think I have. So this is gonna be a first. Um, I'm very much so looking forward to it. What we're gonna do in usual fashion, and we will catch up with Simon, the owner of the car, he's gonna run around it for us, um, tell us what he's done to it, maybe what he's got planned for it, and then we're gonna go out and experience it, have a bit of fun, and make some noise out of those four Remus exhaust tips. I am very much so looking forward to this, as I've already mentioned, so let's crack on. Okay, everybody, this is Simon, the owner of the car. Thank you very much for coming on the channel today and bringing along your awesome TTS. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not sure where we can start, really, because you've done an awful lot to it. Yeah, it's changed somewhat since it came out of the showroom. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I've had her now nearly three years, be three years next month. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing QST did for me was drop it. We're on KW V3 coilovers. Um, I could act the wheel arch gap, um, but it sits beautiful now and the ride is amazing. It then went up to MRC for tinkering after about <laughs> 8K um, of mileage. We are stage one and a bit. Yep. Uh, it's that awkward thing of could almost be stage two or bar the intercooler. So at the moment she's running 385 horses and 551 newton meters of mm. torque. Um, I mean, I know there are cars with big power, but I mean, this is such usable power. Yeah. Um, it's phenomenal. And then from, from there on, it, it all just kind of went aesthetic, really, mm. this year. Um, the, the decision was uh, to get the Automotive Passion Aero Kit comprising of the fixed wing, which is a game changer, the diffuser, uh, and then the side skirts, which I think are, are just phenomenal. It all scares the life out of me now. <laughs> Cur curbs have got a whole yeah. new meaning of fear um, because if you see, the skirts poke out more than the wheels. Oh, crikey, so yeah. We're not talking about wheel curb, curb yeah. rash. We're talking about carbon fibre failure. Ooh. Um, no, yeah, not it's not happened. <laughs> You're just kind of dodging any kind of terrain. I'd yeah, probably exactly. hate me for bringing you bumps, into this gravel you know, car park. You're looking at awkward bumps, curbs, yeah. and things like that. Yeah, it's a whole new fear. Yeah. Um, uh, that that rear wing, I must say, that honestly totally it's, it's makes a, it. It is. It's absolutely stunning. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, and it's completely fixed. Yeah. Yeah, totally fixed. Yeah, all coded awesome. out by VAG coding. Oh, of course, because this had the active little wing That's at the right, back, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, the active spoiler. Oh, yeah, VAG car coding did that yeah. for me in conjunction with QST, who fitted it all for me. Yep. Uh, and then at the time, because you can't have a carbon diffuser with stock pipes, <laughs> um, Alex and Kim kindly uh, sourced me a Remus awesome. uh, non-res exhaust with the carbon tips to match. Mm. Um, and, yeah... It, it, it sets it off. It yeah. sounds sounds beautiful. I heard um, you coming. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's decatted as well. It was yeah. decatted when it was at MRC, which is why the torque figures are pretty high. Yeah. Um, oh, I see what you mean about it being between stage one and two then. Because, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it could take a stage two map, all mm. by you're going to have issues in the summer with with heat. Yeah. Um, Only for maybe one or two days here in the UK. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I will look to the future and that'll mm. be that'll be the next thing yeah stage two if get in doubt a, more power get a wagner intercooler in there mm. and then stage to it um and maybe introduce some pops and f more f more flames, flames. And pops yeah <laughs> you love a bit of pops and bangs that's if all it, makes if it ain't popping 
Yeah. Is it worth it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah. So I see some, are they OZ Ultra Legeras? They are, they're yeah. the uh, Legera HLTs uh, on this, 20 inch. Mm -hmm. um, Beautiful rims. They fill those arches, don't they? Look at the size of them. I think we are parked on a little bit of a slope at the moment, but I see what you mean. It sits lovely. Yeah. Um, shod in new Michelin PS4 S's. Mm -hmm. um, cracking Again, tires. Tire. Yeah. Really I mean, I know tire. everybody seems to have them now, but um, I mean, they are. They're phenomenal. Mm. So much grip. Yeah. So I much noticed grip. that on mine because on my M140i, I've just got those tires yeah. as well. I came for the Michelin Pilot Super Sports. Uh -huh. Game changer, absolute game changer. But yeah, lovely, absolutely love it. Uh, people that are watching the video will know I love a blue car. <laughs> Blue's best and it's fastest. Yeah, <laughs> just need some stripes now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sweet. So yeah, I mean, it is, it is. you know, should, should have been at shows this year, but. Yeah, should have all. But there we go, that's it. But. You use this as a daily as well, I hear. It's a total daily. Yeah, yeah that's I what it's used all about. To do, I used to do 60 odd miles a day in this pre COVID and. Yeah, uh, crikey. Yeah. Well, Little boy gets used. in there and. There's certainly uh, no shortage of carbon as well. <laughs> There's a lot of carbon. There's a, <laughs> a lot, lot of carbon. carbon. I mean, everywhere you look mirrors, side skirts, wing, diffuser. Awesome. Lovely, lovely thing. Anyway, I think what we'll do, we'll fire it up. We'll hear that exhaust, because I know for a fact it's very, very loud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, we'll go out and uh, see what it's like. And what I said in the intro is, I've never experienced one of these before. Um, I've been in a lot of Golf R's, things like that, but never, never any of the TTs. Well, I was so. an S3 before, and I think this is um, leagues, leagues over that. Mm, yeah. I really do. Interesting, so you came from an S3? Yeah. Yeah, was that manual or DSG? Uh, DSG. DSG, yeah. Interesting, okay, yep. awesome. Right, let's fire it up and um, go for a nice drive. It was a bit of a scrape. It's, um, <laughs> I see why you're conscious. It's low life fears. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, we're out in the car. Um, it's loud, very loud. That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> it's nice. Properly echoes as well. Where we are at the moment, underneath some trees. Shame we're stuck behind a focus. <laughs> The good thing is, is with the map, it's switchable on the pops and bangs. So, yeah, you know, true. because you don't, I don't want to be taking my son to school mm. uh, and rocking into the car park with it, popping and exploding and scaring yeah. a bunch of six to nine year olds. Yeah. I mean, it would be quite funny. Yeah. But. <laughs> Very true. But yeah, that's that's the good thing about mapped cars really nowadays. You can, you can, they're switchable completely. Yeah, switchable. totally. Has, has this still got valves? No. No. It's just switchable, so it's just not as loud. It, it's, it either pops and bangs or it doesn't. Yeah. It's still uh, as loud, irrespective of whether whether the gear is in yeah. uh, dynamic or not mm. sports. So you're saying that you've had it for three years? Maybe? It'll be three years old three? next month, yeah. So you've had it from you? I've had it from oh, new. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I um, popped into the Audi near me yep. to get a key fob battery <laughs> and. <laughs> um, Ended up buying this. Yeah, that's a great story. That it literally was literally a Wayne's just a key battery. Uh, uh, just a battery. Yeah, it was a Wayne's World moment. Yeah, the showroom lights were shining down on it, and um, I am a sucker for blue cars. And I yeah. opened the door and it had the Audi rings, and yeah. and that was it. Yeah, done deal. <laughs> Those DSG farts, they like shake the car, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it just inspires that childhood nature yeah. in me. And you I've, look in the rear view wing and you see, you see that fixed wing. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can adjust that so that you're looking in, so you can get a perspective oh, yeah. of- You can see, the, see the end plates. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also it's a, 
I mean, it's a bit inhibiting for <laughs> for drivers. You get an idea that someone's yeah. behind you, but it doesn't matter. They're, they're just quite a way behind. If you. they're behind, it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> and obviously, because you bought it new, you bought it completely stock as well. So completely stock. Yeah, everything's been done. Oh, um, nice little underpass here. Honestly, 551 newton meters. Yeah. It's, um, it's high. It's high figures for stage one. And 385. 385 horses. Yeah. Oh, that's strong numbers. <laughs> Sorry, this is just a video of me just giggling with the. Uh, I mean, you, it does bring out the asbo in you. Yeah. It just um, you can just play it like an instrument, though, can't you? Totally. Totally, paddle shifters can't yeah. beat them in my opinion. Yeah. So actually, just before this, I was filming with Alex from QS Tuning with new RS6, a video which you should have already seen. And QS have done quite a bit of work on the car. Yeah. Um, and I think there there is some discussions going on. I think <laughs> it's that salesman in Alex. Yeah. You know, if he can, uh, if he he knows how to tempt. Mm. Um, so yeah, it looks as though stage two could well be on the cards, even though I kind of convinced myself that the car was finished. Yeah. <laughs> um, however, it looks as though we might be going for for stage two with flames. Oh, um, crikey. If you're going to be a kid, you might as well be a big kid. Yeah, that's it. That's um, it, exactly. And then, really, apart from that, uh, I've got a guy who's kindly working on a carbon fiber fuel filler cap for me oh, okay. and then that's really kind of it yeah project cars never complete <laughs> as, as they say you know kind of done yeah 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 a lot of intake noise as well so this nice. is the new r600 yeah. uh i had the revo carbon air intake on here mm. and it was fine on my S3. I took it off of that mm. and uh, and brought it onto here. It just didn't really have the it didn't really have the noise. So okay, yeah. um, I mentioned it to Alex. Mm. Thank you, Alex, for <laughs> suggesting the R600, which yeah, which is cracking. You know, it's got that audible mm. thing that was missing, and hopefully it will probably it should maybe have a. Um, an impact on the figures as well. Yeah, maybe five, ten. Maybe possibly, something. possibly. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to to pick it out on camera. If not, mark our word. Sounds great. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Driving past shop windows, you see the reflection. <laughs> you get a lot of people notice you as well. Yeah. Well, it's that kind of car which just draws attention. Yeah, kind because of. Because it doesn't look like a TT. It. Some people are going to kill me for this, but. It looks like a mini R8 to me. Some say. Some, I know that is a, a, an opinion of, of maybe few, but I think it looks brilliant with the wing especially. That's what makes it for me. <laughs> That's what you love about a quattro. Point and shoot. Yeah, 4,000 RPMs, it seems to uh, come to life. Yeah, it always finds a different different pitch, doesn't it? I'd say the valves open, but there aren't any. <laughs> no valves. <laughs> it's the kind of car which comes alive on these sort of roads as well. <laughs> I mean, it just picks up. It is, it's instant, absolutely instant. But I think that is going to wrap things up. Thank you very much um, for taking me out in it. I've You're finally welcome. experienced a TT. And if you go stage two, then uh, it'll be popping some flames at the back. We will have flames. <laughs>
Awesome. Well, of course, I will leave Simon's Instagram link down in the description and down below. We can all uh, peer pressure him and get him to stay to do it. <laughs> but uh, once again, a huge thank you to yourself for uh, for letting me uh, come out on it and no featuring problems. on the channel. It's been a pleasure. Um, and I keep on glancing at that rear, rear wing as well. <laughs> anyway, that's going to wrap things up for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure I subscribe for all the adventures still to come.